Welcome to Edgewong's November 2022 update. Over the last two months, a lot has happened and our team has been busier than ever. We've been working hard behind the scenes. Mostly, we've been working on improving our server environment. We've done a lot of updating to make sure that you have a very fast and seamlessly Edgewong experience. We improved our loading times and we really optimized our import process so, so that when you import your trades into Edgewong, it is faster than ever. But we also have a few updates that you can see directly in your Edgewonk journal. First of all, when we go to the left and go to settings, now we have added the reordering function to instruments and setups. So when you want to reorder your instruments or your setups, you can just go to the settings and then drag and drop them. This will not only change the order in the settings, but also when you enter a trade and also in the filters, the new order will then be present. The reordering is now available for instruments, setups, trade comments and the session notes. We are adding it to the custom statistics with our next update. If you have been using missed trades, we have added the automated profit and loss calculation to our missed trades as well if you are trading with stocks. We've improved the workflow for our imports. So now when you go to the left menu and select imports, you directly find the settings here. Previously they were under settings, but now it is all in the imports tab. You just choose your import type, so your platform or your broker from the top down. Then you choose the setup that will be assigned to all of the trades that you're importing. You can use the drag and drop feature or select the statement you want to import here and then start the import. All is now in one place. When you go to the journal, you can now drag and drop the columns around and they will be saved. This is also true for the trade analytics. You can drag and drop them around and create a new order. When you open the right here on the trade analytics, you can toggle on and toggle off different columns. You can also directly move them around here. The same is true for the journal itself. You can activate and deactivate certain columns and also move them around directly in here. We added two new imports to our supported import list. First of all, Tradeovate is now available here and also TD365 is now available. I will put a link in the video description below to all supported platforms at the moment. Right now we are working on the alternative strategies, which is a feature that will allow you to test different strategy variations very easily in Edgewonk and so help you optimize your trading strategies and your trade placement. We hope the new update will be available before the end of the year. We hope you enjoy the new update and also the improved performance of your Edgewonk journal. If you have feedback or suggestions for one of our next update, just leave a comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. Happy journaling.